Welcome back to the channel once again, ladies and gentlemen. How are you guys all doing? I hope you guys are spectacular. Today, we have an unboxing of a new craft. That's right, you heard me correctly. New craft. Yep. It's called Pyography, or terms for you guys to understand, is wood burning okay so let's set this stuff off the side and that off the side the first kit I'm gonna show you guys was the first kit I bought later or like last week and it's an okay set it's like your beginner grade set and I wasn't happy with it. I wasn't pleased with it. It wasn't like what I was using at my friend's house because my friend has a is a huge pyrographer and that's all he does like all the time. So it was it just wasn't what I was used to and I was trying to hold this thing way back here and have this long tip on it and trying to get to find detail and stuff and it was I was screwing stuff up. I was just screwing stuff up. So, this is the first kit I got. It was $27. It would probably do anybody just fine. But, me, I didn't really like it. So, um, comes with a bunch of different tips. Some stencils. There's another baggie of stencils that are out in the living room that I forgot about. Oh well. Um, some more tips, some more tips, some of, uh, brain fart, brain fart, what the heck is this stuff called? Yeah, I'm complete brain fart, you guys. It says, you write on the wood, it transfers. I can't think of the name of it. What is wrong with you? Brain, work. Oh, it's Friday. It don't want to work. So, yeah, I got all this stuff in this kit. I wasn't impressed for the price I paid. It was I was just not impressed, okay? Okay, we're moving on. Onward and upward to better and badder goodies okay this I'm not impressed with the shipping on this this was $75 for this machine the shipping was free 12 days to ship it I was like mm -mm, mm -mm. I want to upgrade so I upgraded it to $10 shipping upgrade to guarantee it was going to be at my house on Wednesday it showed up today why the hell did I pay ten dollars to ship guarantee show up to my house Wednesday and I get it freaking Friday I understand there's a whole pandemic crap going on right now but come on you paid for something you expect it to be there that day you pay for that. So anyways, I'm... Yeah, yeah, this is why I didn't do a video on Friday. Because I was so... Ow, I was wanting to pull my hair out. Yeah, last Friday. Well, actually, the, today, Friday. Because today's Friday. You guys are going to see this Monday, but... The reason why I'm doing this unboxing like this... And I'm going to do this video in stages because I want to play with this bad boy this weekend. So first off, we're going to get into this. Let me have it. I don't need this baggies. Okay. Got a flower in there. 
Cool. 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 Okay. Some tools. Okay. Some guns. Okay. The machine and some instructions. Get you, get you out of here, box. Get you out of here. Okay. It's only in black and white, but you can see it's a big, it's a fancy, it's a gun. Yes. Yes. I can't wait. This is the kind of stuff I've been used to working with. Yeah, we don't need instructions. I'm, I'm, I'm prepared for this. Okay, so I'm going to sit down because I need to open some baggies. So, these are gun tray holders, and we're going to open this up. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Open, 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 open. If you guys can tell, I am excited. I've been waiting for this for too damn long. Okay, so this goes like... Does this go in there? It's got to go in there. Uh-huh. Just a snug fit. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then da -da 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 -da. little sponges that you're supposed to get wet and stick inside of there. They don't fit in the boxes, but whatever. You can cut them with scissors. Uh get a bunch of different tips. Oops show you guys a bunch of different tips coolio get rid of that baggie now this is the cherry on top of the cake right here let me pull one of these apart yeah yeah yeah, yeah. give me okay see this is the cherry on top of the icing right here plugs right in I can hold my hand like this, and the tip's only about like this long, so I can get nicer with it, you know? You smell me? Okay, you smell me. Okay, okay, I understand. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, it's got that fresh car smell. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. Yep. Nice. Okay, so it's got... The dual guns, they plug in here. So if you're, yeah, I'll show you. So on off, okay. Let's undo this. And let's plug this bad boy in. Yeah, let's plug you in over here. No, right there. Okay, okay. Now let's turn it on. Bam, we got voltage. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys down into the business a little bit more. Okay, so we got a speed dial. So we're gonna to wanna to burn. Well, this gauge is way off. It's five. Doesn't move. Doesn't move. Doesn't move, doesn't move until it hits about there. Okay, that says 61. That's about what I want to burn out for wood wise. So we're going to take one of these here, plug it in right here. What's nice about these is if one of the needles or uh, pins goes out all you gotta do is go on eBay or Amazon or wherever and buy a replacement okay let's see if I get this back to it's, it's just touchy okay it says 60 Okay, so I'm gonna take my tips here. Yeah, that thing is, does it have a... No screw. 
to adjustment. Oh well. Okay, it says 61. Good enough. 60. Okay, so we're going to take... Now eh, let's look at the tips. Okay, so this kind of tip here. That's a shader tip. Okay, I want like a writing tip for like my fine lines. Okay, maybe something like this. For, yeah, I'm going to use that one first. And then... Like, this is like, no, no, I'm going to use this one, not this one. And then on the other gun, I'm going to use, ah, give me, give me, that tip, I think, close enough, good enough for now. So I'm going to do this video in steps, doing the unboxing, showing you guys how it, to put it together and how to do things, stuff like that. So this is not hot at all. Uh, let's, let's turn it off just to be safe. Let's turn it off just to be safe. So, you gotta unscrew the screws. Okay, let's put... Put the tip in there. it down that can go into a holder this one same thing unscrew it so I was so frustrated about the shipping process on this that I actually contacted the company that I bought it from and the guy was like the guy I talked to Mary Jane, which actually really blew me away. The guy I talked to on the phone was the guy that was the owner of this company. Okay. Turn it back on. Ooh, you see it smoking? That bad boy's already getting hot. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god! Holy shit! Whoa! That bad boy's already glowing freaking hot. I can just start shading. Woo! Okay, so you have your dial here. Okay. I'm trying not to burn anything, but I want you guys to see up close and personal for yourself. Come here. So. You see this one is glowing red. So if I switch this to this one, this one cools down, this one starts to get hot. Bam, it's glowing red. So I can have two pins at the same time that take literally seconds to get hot. So I could be doing my fine my fine line work with this by doing like the outline and then oh I'm done with that boop kick that off it cools down it's hot already let's start doing our shading you see what I'm saying that's freaking legit can I switch it to the middle and it shut off I guess not. It's either one way or another. There's no there's no middle. Okay, so lesson learned. There's no middle switch. I guess we just have to turn it completely off. So that can go in there. And I'm just gonna shut this off for now so it doesn't burn anything. 
And I'm going to pause you guys and refocus this a little bit. Okay, so as you see, I have a round of wood here. I've already burnt on this, but I used the cheaper one to burn this with. And you can see it just trying to do a straight line. It didn't burn very hot. It didn't burn very good. It didn't burn constant with the different grains of the woods. I made a little dog. It just wasn't, I just wasn't satisfied. That's when I went and bought this set. So I have 25 of these. My goal is to make Patreons their customized <clears throat> uh, their very own customized coasters. So now I'm just gonna do some practice burning on this and see how this this works. Um, I want to start out with this one. So this is the first one. I'm going to switch it over to there. We're going to switch this on. And as you see, let me just bring you back over here a little bit so you can see. It is hot as hot as hot already. Already, I see a huge improvement. Oh my gosh. This is going to be freaking awesome. You need to sit in your holder and not fall out, please. Thank you very much. So, you play around with the different ranges of temperature. I mean, you see that just, like, sunk right into that wood. And you can put a whole, like, line in there. So, you just want to play around with it. And figure out how deep you want to go and how deep you don't want to go. You don't want to put it in there and just have it go down because it will end up and catch fire. But just light, light streaks. That burns freaking badass, y'all. Badass. I am in love right now so i'm gonna turn that off so as you see here i went ahead and cut this down to size put some water in there so if it does get too hot on my hand or something i have some water to put on my fingers or tap that in water cools it a lot quicker it's ready to put into its holder i'm just gonna sit like that for now because it's still a tad hot so, let me figure something out real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have a coaster here. I have customized it with the name Lane. It's not perfect, but... Gives us... Well, this thing's catching on fire. It's probably because it's too hot. That's probably what the deal is. Let's try a 40. Still a pretty good size red. Sorry, bumping you guys around. I gotta turn this back up a little bit. About 45. It's gonna take some use to doing names. I, I wanted to do names of my Patreons. Oh, I hit a hot spot. Kind of mess that one up. 
as you see, pine isn't the best wood to do as a wood burn because some areas are going to be a lot hotter than others. As you see, I'm hitting some spots I hit. It just like burns to nobody's business. Some spots, see, it burns really good. I do have better wood coming. And I will be doing other demonstrations with better quality wood for wood burning. Right now I just want to give you guys a demonstration. It's not my best work of art because as you've seen it is it's getting hot, it's popping because these rings hold sap and as you've seen when I was hitting some of the spots in the E it would flare up. So I have what they call basswood. I don't know the name of it. I know the name is called basswood, but I don't know like I don't know what it is. I don't know. I've never heard of it myself, but I guess it's really good for wood burning. So that's supposed to be here Monday and I ordered rounds as well and I ordered squares. So it's three inch rounds and four inch squares. I will be making Patreon goodies plus I have to make a couple of things for my uncle. So this is one of the ones I'm going to make for my uncle. Um, I'm probably going to do a set of coasters out of like that, that, and then that. And then this is a, a four inch size. But I think it's going to be really cool. To try this and proceed on to the creativity of wood burning. I'm going to play with it this weekend and I will do a I'll probably do another segment here before I end this video and I'll show you some more wood burning. Um I'll try to maybe do one of these pit portraits of a dog. This is just a black dog, but it don't matter. It's all good. So, until the next segment, I'll see you soon. Okay, we are ready to burn this image onto this round. Let's see how this goes. I already did this once, as you can see, just from playing with it over the weekend. This isn't the best wood, but... We're going to go ahead and play with it. So I have it turned on. It's at 60 degrees, which you can see it's, it's already hot. I have a test piece of wood here that I like to just test. You can see what I was talking about in the pine. There's sap in between each of these rings. So as I'm making a line, you see it flutters up in individual spots. All right, so let's let's dial let's dial this in a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna put it on fifty. Let's see how this see how this works. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to. I cannot look at the camera, so hopefully 
this is good enough of a view for you guys. That's a, that's a better temperature. Doesn't seem to be getting really hot where it... I mean, it's still getting really hot. But it's not making it burn. Right now, I'm just trying to do this bottom outline... See, some spots just don't want to burn very well. Some spots burn real easy. Um, tomorrow I should have my next batch of wood. And that wood's supposed to be, like, the best wood to burn on. This was just... An idea I had to uh, give back to Patreons. Whoa, it got a little hot right there. Come on. I don't like some of these spots. As you see, right there, it went deep because this is... It, that was in a spot where it was white. And the white areas burn a lot quicker. I need to uh, invest into a face mask probably while doing this. Probably not the best thing to burn and breathe in the wood and smoke smells. But to get by for today, I'm just going for it. Gotta be real precise. Some of this. Oh, see, I just got a hot spot and I kind of messed up his face. Yep. Oh, God dang it. Hot spots. Nothing I can do about it. It's just that that's just what kind of wood this is. It gets hot spots. Nothing I can do about it. So, like I was saying, I should have my better wood come Monday. I will have another video up for you guys this week on wood burning. And then we'll uh, probably Friday sometime if I, uh, if I get some time to play with the new wood. Because as of right now, I haven't, I haven't burnt on 
basswood. So we'll see as as we go. So there's the outline of the pheasant. Uh, he's got a little messed up wing over there because of a hot hot spot. But like I said, there's nothing I could do about that. That's just how it's going to be. So I'm going to switch pens because now I want the shader. And put that one up there so it can cool off. And we're going to bump that up to 60. I watched so many videos on different techniques of how to do this. Everybody seems to have their own technique. I just kind of drag it on the on the wood. Mary, what are you doing? Schnooky pops. But I can't wait, like I said, to get that better wood so I can actually start getting better at what I'm what I'm going to be doing all right Better wood, it will definitely make a difference. So, I'm not going to take any more of your guys' time up. I've already taken quite a bit of your time. Let's turn this off so it can cool down. So, there, there it is. It's not as good as the first one I made. The first one I made turned out a little better, I think. The pheasant turned out better because there wasn't as many rings up there as there is here. And let's see, as this white wood burns really nicely, and then the darker rings burn differently so there's two um i actually played on the back side of this one i wrote a name i oh i i did that in the this video i forgot duh but i'm gonna have to get some uh different style of text to write l names because that was a little tricky but with the better wood it should be a whole lot nicer and once I get to playing with this more and more, I should get really comfortable with doing it. So I'm going to part ways with you guys here. I thank you all so much for watching. I got to give a great big shout out to all of my Patreons. I thank you all so much. I got a, I think I got like four new ones in the past couple of days. So Thank you guys so much for your support. Be patient with me. I'm still in the process of learning this. But I do plan on sending out a personalized coaster to each of my Patreons. Maybe with their initials on it or something of that sort. We'll see in the near future of what I come up with. Um, maybe your channel name. Some of y'all have really long channel names, though, so. Yeah, so that's it for here. 
and I hope you all have a fantastic day. As always, remember to have peace, love, and respect for one another, and I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Bye.